What's good, y'all? It's Next Gen Concepts coming at y'all with another video, and I know this is going to be a banger. I'm not going to hold y'all up too much longer. Y'all see what it is from the title of the video. I know this is going to change the 2K community, so let's hop into this trailer, and then after the trailer, we're going to get into what this is. What's good guys? I have cracked the code. I have figured it out. I have figured out how to create a NBA 2K RB server. Now for years, people have been asking, can we play my career versus our friends? Well, finally it's here and it's in the form of RP. And it's a community social media type situation to where you're always connected with your player and all the other people in that community. This is a real simple two-step process, okay? So step one, you wanna go ahead and create a Discord. I know that some of you already have Discord, it's cool. Go ahead, create a Discord. So if you're the host of a 2K RP server, you can go ahead and create your Discord server. Um, tap that little plus button to create channels and you can create a general welcome channel for when people load in. You can type whatever message you wanna type and then pin it to the top so when they get in they see that message it's wise to uh let people know who your mods are for that server now i'm going to show you how to create a category just for example this category is called hoopers now you can name it whatever you want because you have complete 100 percent control of what your league is going to be like to set up your economy for people to get points or quote unquote VC, you want to add in Unbelievabot. Now, these are my settings that I use. You don't have to use my settings, but you just want to head over, type in Unbelievabot on Google and just add it to your Discord server. From there, you're able to click on the command so you can see what you need to type in order to get certain things and set up certain things. So. What I'm doing now is I'm going to set my currency. So I just tap it once and it copies automatically to my clipboard. These are some other commands that you can use. We're going to get into that later. All right. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to paste it in there and then set whatever symbol. It can be an emoji. It can be a letter. It can be whatever. You know, you see that didn't work. So in order to uh do commands on unbelievable you have to do an exclamation mark first then paste whatever the command is then input whatever symbol you want to use now what i'm going back into is the commands and i'm going to do the add money so we're going to go back press done go into the server put our exclamation point and paste add money now this allows you to add any specific amount of money to a player so just at that player then type in the amount of money that you would like to give them now that i have unbelievable in my server i am able to create private channels so with private channels these only allow the certain people that you want on that channel to access it so anybody else cannot access it this is how i have my server set up it's set up for a group of 20 people. See, I have it split into sections of fours so that each one of my mods only manage five people. And I feel like that's very, very smart. It's, it's less work on all of the mods because it can get really, really hard if you're very understaffed as far as mods. So we're gonna hop into part two. 
which is setting up the actual league. So you want to go to user created and you want to type in my name, ATM underscore. So from here, you want to look for the roster that says 2K RP. And once you get that loaded up, we want to hop into custom league. Now you want to go to custom league because it gives you the option to add teams. And on 2K RP roster that I created, the all-time teams, which are the Wizards, uh, the Warriors, the Blazers, the Timberwolves, the Suns, and the OKC Thunder, um, those six teams, I made them 40 overall so that mods could control them. So when you put them into the league, they don't really interfere with you know, any type of top tier team or competition because mods are there specifically to make sure everything runs smoothly. Now, if a mod wants to control a team, then that's perfectly fine. But the way that I have my setup is for the mods to control 40 overall teams. So to add the created players that the people in your league have customized and created, you just wanna go down to the worst player on that person's team and import player DNA. So just ask the people who are participating in your league to save their player under the name of your league. So it's wise to keep a list of the names and the um, user name of the person whose player you're importing to a team so that you don't confuse anything with anything else. This is the point system that we have set up in our RP server. You can customize it to whatever you want because it's your experience. However, this is how our players get paid. And I feel like this system would work the best for our league. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and upgrade each attribute that this specific player has bought and purchased because he is a part of my group. I keep track of everything that he buys in the store and just simply equip it to him. So whatever he buys, I see and I keep track of that. And you may be wondering, how can you keep track of what everyone buys in the store? Each of the four mods are responsible for a group of five people. So I'm mod number two. So I control everything under number two. So there's a shop number two, there's an inventory number two. So I keep track of everybody in group number two. And I just go in, see who bought what, see who wants this equipped, see who wants that equipped and just go into the game and just add it to their custom player. It's really simple, really easy. And this is why mods are so important in leagues like this, because it makes sure nobody is cheating and it keeps everybody honest. And it's just an overall competitive fun experience. And you can create any specific build, character, whatever you want you have complete 100% control. As you see on the screen now, I'm giving this player the badges that he bought. So as you can see, I'm in quick edit and at the top of uh, the little thing, it shows you what the names of the badges are. So just pay attention to that when you're equipping this. If you wanna host tournaments and daily challenges and stuff like that, just go to one of the 40 overall all-time teams, um, relocate them to wherever you want. You can back out exit the league go to create a roster and go to uh, any team and just export any player then that you want just to create the ultimate roster for that tournament this is just something to keep the league fresh and fun and just make it an overall exciting experience for the players to set up a college league what you want to do is go in and download the roster by skillers kill I'm putting his name on the screen, so just download that roster. The beautiful thing about that roster is if you press R3 on the controller, I'm not sure what it is on Xbox, but PlayStation R3, it shows you what school that person is from. So you know which school goes where, and it's so helpful and it's so beautiful. And it can take a long time if you're doing it by yourself. You just have to keep sending a bunch of invites to a second account and just keep going into that account and relocating the teams to that school. Or if you have a group of mods, it goes by a 
bit faster you just send a bunch of invites to those mods and they just come in so like a team assign it to the school then leave then they come back and do the same thing over and over again until you have the entire league set up and it is just a beautiful beautiful thing to experience because of how in-depth you can go you can really dive into the college experience with things like offers and bribes and under under the table deals and stuff like that and you know like say uh your player does an under the table deal and they get kicked out of college or they have to go to a junior college or a d2 or d3 or whatever this is 100 percent complete control of your career it really depends on how creative and how in-depth the mods or the host of the servers want to go it's literally no limits to this and you can really do whatever you want and really come up with some creative things man like honestly let's hop into the pros and cons as you can see you have 100 percent control of your player bill so no one player is the same you have 100 percent control of your career so you can make any decisions that you want you have no 2K clones who have all the same dribble moves and jump shots as the whole community. You're always connected to your player and the community. You don't have to wait for games. It's still competitive. It's still multiplayer. No money spent on VC. You're stacking VC from the games that you're playing so that over time, that VC will build up and you check your balance again and it's, it's just a bunch of VC in there. And this could create real life paying jobs. So like if you have a famous celebrity or a YouTuber in your league or, you know, if, if your league just happened to take off and, you know, get some notoriety, then you're able to stream or post those games that people want to see, that the fans want to see on platforms such as YouTube and Twitch and all that stuff like that and potentially earn income for your mods and those players in that league. A few cons that I could see is uh, you're not able to work on your my player park progressions or access any of the park clothes, but that doesn't really matter. Another thing is it can get really, really hectic if you're understaffed as far as mods and it will be a lot of work on a few people or one person if you don't have the correct amount of mods to, you know, help a specific amount of people. So like. With my example, I had uh, a group of 20 people. So that's 20 people plus four mods. So that's 24 people overall. And each one of my four mods have a, a group of five. So each one of those four mods manage those five people. And it just becomes very, very more manageable, very, very more easy to control and just make everything run smoothly like it's supposed to so the players can have a great overall experience in the league another thing you can do to cut down on being overwhelmed with demands is establish time so like say the store opens from three to six every day and you the players get paid at seven o'clock a.m every day so they know that Okay, I only have a window for me to um, do what I need to do. And I know that I get paid at this time, so I don't have anything to complain or um, worry about. So it's really like real life. It's really a real life role play experience. So just try to, you know, make the overall experience as smoothly as possible for your group. I know each server will be different and each server will have you know, their own unique thing. However, it is very, very, very important that you have some type of organization, some type of uh, system that allows you to make sure that everything runs as smoothly as possible. So that's pretty much it. Anything that I did not cover can be found in the website below. So make sure y'all check that out. I know that it's a possibility that a lot of people may hop on this. A lot of people may claim this as their own, but just know that it came from us first and we were the first to do it. All we want is our credit. So just please, please just give us a shout out. If you see it anywhere else and anybody's trying to claim it as their own, let the people know that we, Next Gen Concepts, created this 
we came up with this concept we came up with this whole um rp thing for 2k crossing over from a gta to 2k so please please like share this video uh thank you guys for the support and that's all i gotta say see y'all next time